Okay. Yeah, we're back for real now. We're back for real. How are you doing, everyone? Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope everyone's made it back, right? Welcome back, Minoshi. Dota 2 is at 85%. Love to see it. Yeah, for those of you who weren't here before, for those of you who are just joining now, for those of you who are watching the VOD, uh, we did try to go live like 45 minutes ago. Um, I ended up dealing with a Windows update that forced me to stop. Uh, we ended up opening the vault. Uh, that's pretty much it. We didn't do anything. I started, I went back to the combo variant of Heimer Jace. I'm going to be playing Heimer Jace today. You know, my favorite deck ever. We are going back to the Production Surge tech heavy version with Hextech Handler. Um, and what we were trying to do right before I had to leave was we were trying to fit these Mists calls in. So what I ended up doing, I ended up going down to two Mystic Shots. And I ended up... Uh, cutting one Vengeance. Why did I do this? Well, look what I have. I have Hex Obliterators, Piercing Darkness, Shock Blast, Vengeance. I technically have, like, six Vengeance in here. Six Vengeance versus five Vengeance is not really that different, right? And I do need, I might need Vengeance and Hex Obliterator in the same game pretty often, which is why I chose to go 2-2 two, two rather than 1-3 or something like that. And so this ends up being on our list. It's very, very built around the Heimer Jace combo, uh, the ability to get some turrets off. Jade, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Dota 2 is at negative 100%. Okay, guys, it's it's a game that we don't usually play, and we're going to play it for one night and maybe have a good time with each other. That's all there is to it. Dota 2 is not ew. It's not a bad game. It's just not the one that we play. <laughs> all right. That was honestly just gross, the complete mess of oh no the eu is heimer jace ah that's fair that's very fair okay um let's get started let's play uh yesterday our principles improved a lot I, I found out that the season lasts for another month and a half we have so much time oh hang on though oh i forgot to turn off my music but actually we can still cancel get ourselves going get the vibe going right I'm going to play No Shuffle straight off an album today. All right. Okay, beautiful. It's going to be a little quiet at the start, but I promise it will not last that long. Uh, while I was gone, I just started updating some of my grids on here. That's what I was doing. Okay, we are playing it against Turbo Thralls for the first game, which I haven't seen in a long time. We are going to be wanting... Uh, we don't have any main deck Aftershock, so we're really going to be wanting our Tellstones if we can find them. What in the ever-loving shit is this hand? Am I supposed to take it? This has the potential of comboing like crazy. I think I'm not supposed to take this hand. Because, like, usually I'm not even supposed to keep the handlers in the first place, but, you know, let's experiment. Let's just dump one of them. It's been a while since we played this version of the deck, so... Oh my god, and there's formula. Any secret formulas online? Exactly. Uh, I'm willing to accept this. I'm very willing to accept this beat down line. It's going to keep Lissandra alive for a little bit. Yeah, no, we're we're going hard this. Yep. I mean, uh, combo control. We just we just start going right away. Now Lissandra is tough, but she doesn't kill any of my units. We're going to swing for three. She's probably going to. She's not going to block. She's taking the six. That was your first mistake, fucker. Now she's at the moment not even doing anything. This is here for Heimerdinger later. Yep, turbo. They're trying to go turbo. Um, the damage is done. All right, Nugget. Let's what go hard. For me? Hi, Nugget. How are you doing? Is that really what we're doing here? Wow, I might have to bank for vengeance. Wow, they're trying to get a Thrall, like, instantaneously, aren't they? So, in that case, I'm going to open attack, bank for Venge- Oh, Okay, later, later. 
Open attack, bank for vengeance. The combo's coming online. They're obligated to block something. I'm pre pushing 10. We're just gonna play really we fast. Cannot fight the code. Let me guess. Talia comes out here onto this one. Come on, there's so much yep. to see. That's so cheesy. Uh, Talia's the one we're actually concerned about, so we're going to remove her. Ruinate off this? No, I won't have the mana for it. I mean, the the guard, the frost guard thralls do have overwhelm. Okay. Embrace the cold. Ages pass, but I. This is so eternal. silly. We're just gonna need to go around them now. You will do um, as I I think I've got all the tools I need to win, though. We're gonna try to keep as much mana as possible for the next turn. So if I can get away with using just one Vengeance, no formula value into Hextech Handler, that would be ideal. Uh, we're going to Vengeance one of them right away. We're going to take Come Maximum on, Block here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take Maximum Block Stop here. Stop before I smack you. We do have second vengeance for the Watcher if it ever does come out, but we prefer to not let it get that far. We're going to play the Handler, and we're ready to surge next turn. Now, what are the odds of a Rite of Negation? Am I playing straight into Rite of Negation if I do this? Uh, there, it is a one of in this deck. The Dracorn Inquisitor is here and not able to be killed, so we do unfortunately have to play for beatdown. You know, this deck just did go faster than I have tools to answer. So, unfortunately, we, we simply... I don't like the idea of playing the prod surge right now, actually. I really don't. On seven, it feels pretty bad. Can I actually endure this, though? I think the stats are pretty excellent if I do. I mean, we still got no Heimer, so the Fleurbegons aren't ready. Ooh, that's a nice Fleurbegon. They did not have Rite of Negation. That's a really nice Fleurbegon to have. If I can hold out one more turn and this thing can't be killed. Ah! Alright, two more turns. Fine, two more turns. We're only losing one guy, fortunately. Stinging cold. Just one of the men. Oh. And they're losing their Ice Veil Archer, which it is what it is. I'm slowly getting shipped down. We have another Ice Shard. Oh god, my Florbegon's actually dead. Shit. Okay, so we're gonna throw you at you. Don't want to have to vengeance a second time. It kind of looks like that's the way the cookie is crumbling, though. Um. Two ice shards from death. God, I'm obligated. Yep. I'm obligated to spend a second vengeance. Feel the power of true ice. Absolutely brutal, yeah. Okay, maybe I want to hold this mist call for. Uh oh, the wrench bot needs to die. Shoot.
That's 9. That's 11. What do I do with 11? I don't have a way to remove Lissandra. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, they've got no more thralls. The Watcher is close to coming out. My combo's been stifled. Ugh. That's a fast, that's a free fast spell, and once I play it, it's simply coming out. So my Florbegon is not getting value. I think we do it again. I think we actually do it again. Again, odds of a right of negation are very, very low. But if it gets hit, then I lose the game on the spot. And I know this is impatient, but... Not a good hit. <laughs> Where do we go from this board stage? Minu Nova, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your time with us. Uh, where do we go from this board stage? Because obviously the floor be gone is gone right away. Declaring an attack would be futile. Um, I could let it dissipate. No, I can't let it dissipate because I don't have end round privileges. Um, th th we did not hit second floor we gone, right? So we're not actually exerting any lethal pressure with Shock Blast. It was kind of a gamble for sure. Um, I mean, there's no sense in not trying then. We'll just keep these as our blockers. Yeah, because the Ice Blast is coming out right now. Ice blood. What's this? Ice shard. Yeah. I mean, that was super, super obvious. And I was never going to be able to hit the Mist's Call because it was always going to be able to hit the Wrench Bot as well. And it would have just been like an unnecessary gamble. It's a no champion hand. And now we're just getting into the. Yeah. So here comes the Watcher. Are we ready for that? That's, uh, I, th I, th I think it's just lost. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. We tried to play for a beatdown strategy that I've never actually tried while playing this deck before, just because the hand kind of implied that it was correct. We're not going to waste any more of this guy's time. Um, we are out for right now. Um, and I just have to write my notes, and then I'll get back to chat in just a moment. Um... That was against. We lost. I'm just recording the game for everybody who's kind of fresh to this. Um, rolled a heavy hex tech handler line, which I decided to try. Unfortunately, enemy deck had both greater tempo and greater control against my tools. Um, maintain old mole strats for now, which is to not actually keep the uh, handlers. Can I introduce myself? Sure, but obviously I'm not going to do that mid-game when I'm trying to think, right? My name's Quintic. Um, I'm predominantly a League of Legends player. Um, I'm a League Analyst uh, coach. Uh, my core passion is kind of exploring um, the transferable skills between different competitive games, right? So I run a YouTube channel where um, that's pretty much what I explore. I just released a video recently about, um, what the single player experience of Hades a lot, like, teaches us if you're kind of an overthinker and, um, you know, what it teaches us about kind of just letting go about all of your excessive obsessive thoughts and embracing the learning process. So for the past three seasons, I've been cl climbing in lore here, um, 
hoping that this is the one that we hit masters. Um, first season was, of course, learning the basics like iron to diamond one season. Second season kind of stagnated, trying to solve some emotional issues. Third season, here we are. Um, I love combo control primarily. I'm a big Shadow Isles fan. Uh, that's that's what I like to play. So now we're back on like my favorite deck, which is the combo version of Heimer Jace. Um, although I'm a little rusty on it, this is my first game back, right? That should about cover it, right? <laughs> and I've been learning so, so, so much. We are against Jinx Scion, which is not something I've seen in a long time and should be like exactly the Jinx Talia, but more, not Jinx Talia, Jinx Samira, but a lot more mid range. Um, you know, usual discard package that we're expecting. So if we're expecting discard package, how am I going to play this out? Um, I'm trying to remember my Jace Mulligan principles too. He's just, he's too important to just randomly throw away. We don't have any landmarks to kill with the Telstones. It will be good removal against specifically Jinx, but I'm also holding Shock Blast for that exact purpose. We can toss this. Reggie is our value card. Um, high likelihood of a Pigeon, which means I think I'm going to throw away Jace. and fish for cheaper turn two removal. There's not a lot of it in this particular brew of the deck. Instead, we end up finding Heimer and the Hextech Handler. So we have, okay, we're on a double handler hand. So it's going to be challenging to, yeah, yeah. We, we can't think purely like, a, no, not this again. Guys, I saw the encoding overloaded. I've got to check my task manager. Please tell me my windows isn't, oh my God. Now it's anti-malware service executable. The windows updates have started even though they've said they're paused. I can't believe it. All right, oh, so we do actually pull the Mystic. I'm not going to play Reggie because I do not want to give them an opportunity to use their Pigeon, right? Um, they didn't play it on turn one. They didn't beat me down. They're actually just accepting this right now. So, Hexbliterator in hand, Jinx potential. I mean, they're never going to slam a Jinx into, I mean, she costs three, right? No, she's four. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right. Thank you, Windows. They end up throwing away, I mean, they're just playing a Grenadier, which is very low impact and not something that I need to worry about particularly. So I think I end up playing, uh, so which is my value line then? Is it just dumping a Hextech Handler in anticipation or is it Reggie as usual in like the other decks? Hmm. Right, but I don't want to throw away my... All right, all right, calm down. Calm down, you're not pushing 10. Stop that. Now, this deck should, to my knowledge, shouldn't have any protection exactly like the Orthodox Jinx Samira, right? Um, so in this case, my value line is no longer Hextech Handler because I cannot proc it on four. It must be Reggie, and it's going to find me... Well, I don't know if Dawning Shadow is a little too greedy, but the formula is quite nice. The formula is quite nice for instantaneous Heimer awesome turns. It should be really hard for them to remove Heimer. So I can actually cheat out Heimer, like, soon. Right? I'm allowed to play up to three mana. The Handler is not something I want to use as a blocker. So actually, ah... Uh, let me think about how I want to play this out. I think it's really, really greedy to hold specific... I mean, I have so many six costs in this hand. I think we're going to just dump the formula, play for draw, uh, swing Let's with Reggie, and just bank my answers to whatever they're developing out next turn. Worst kit, worst comes to worst, we end up hexbliterating. I know this does give them the chance to develop out a Jinx, but that would be the only thing they're allowed to do, and Jinx open attack alone is not threatening. So I'm okay with playing my value like that. So the Hextech Handler is now good to go. We do have three banked. If I pull a Mist's Call, I'm allowed to use Heimerdinger as a blocker. Um, odds of Challenger. I'm trying to remember what Challenger's... That, I mean, this guy used to be Challenger or something, right? Like, this card was broken as hell a long time ago before I started playing ranked. If I remember correctly. Mm, so that actually is resistant. I mean, Reggie can't block that. I kind of failed to factor in that he's fearsome. 
Um, but taking four damage when I get to develop a win condition of Heimerdinger is not the end of the world by any means, right? And you know, if I'm obligated to Shock Blast next turn, then so be it. Um, okay, so that is, yeah, I'm not threatened by this board state at all. We do have a triple handler hand, which is absurdity. Uh, if I develop Heimerdinger, I am exposed to future development, but I'm not obligated to go first. I will guaranteed have a safe Heimerdinger spot next turn. Um, I'm allowed to play out a Hextech Handler as a blocker, and that's a pretty high-value play. So we end up with a Fallen Reckoner, um, which I do not want to allow to exist. So I realize that this is going to create a Risen Reckoner, but it's also going to fully stifle all of their attack, and remember, they have no protection. So this is a really high-value line. And just because it's the first stream that we've run like a full album in, guys, this is Pitfalls from Leprous, my favorite band ever. This is the first album I listened to from them. It's not my favorite of them. Um, I prefer Melina, but Pitfalls is outstanding by its own right. So. I'm All right, bye. Have fun. So if I were to develop Heimerdinger right away, um, I think I do need to play Control for another set of two turns. So I think playing Heimerdinger is a little insane here. Let's play for the handler line. Come on, Nugget. We got places to be. Come on, Nugget. Also, I need I need to make sure I'm resistant to this Risen Reckoner, right? Scion should come out at 6 power. My Hex Obliterator is ready. Or 6 toughness, rather. My Hex Obliterator is ready, which beats Scion returned. So I'm not in any... Uh, yeah, I'm, I've won this game, I think. <laughs> He's 7, right? Yeah. I mean, if they just slam him next turn, it's the exact pace that my deck beats. They're rummaging. They threw away a Karina. This deck runs Karina? Playing a man is not really high value. I mean, this is anti-aggro. This is for earlier in the curve. The forge isn't doing very much for me right now. So we'll play the second tech deck. Looking handling. good, no? Hop in. Yeah, Karibo, you're more tuned into like the weirdo brews. What is this? What am I looking at? <laughs> I should get some water. Salvage scrapping lost soul always. <laughs> So weird. Patched Porobot they end up with. Um, it is in my best interest to full swing right now. Okay, you just left me with a blocker and I'm dealing 5 damage. So, granted it does leave your own elusive alive, which is probably why you actually cared about it, but... If I, ca if I at any point catch them on like a low threat turn, I am immediately dumping Heimer. But more than likely, I'm going to have to Hexpliterate. Now, uh, that'll leave me on 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, exact for Heimerdinger formula! If I do nothing this turn except Hexpliterate, it's exact for Heimerdinger formula. Now, I may be pressured into actually using my Forge, and I may be pressured into... Well, if I'm pressured into using my Forge, actually, that still leaves me on exact. No, my Forge is really high value here. Because that's 9. That's 9 and still sets me up for the same turn as an anti-aggro. That's really high value this turn. As long as I don't need the Mystic Shot. Okay. 
Okay, this looks like we don't really need... What's the worst case? Okay, Twin Blade Revenant is highly likely to come out. Not Twin Blade, ah, uh, Risen Reckoner. It's probably Risen Reckoner here. But it's not very high value. Mm, maybe it should have been the Hextech Handler here. Oh, really? That's it? Oh, I tapped under Heimer by doing that, though. I thought they would develop more. That's still okay. Um... Okay, so instead what I'm going to do then is, you know, I'm going to keep the exact mana that I was hoping for. We're going to play my extra Hextech Handler. And that, that's the third of the game. The Floor Be Gone is going to be absolutely devastating. They've still used a Roar of the Slayer, and it would be protected anyway. There's no Rally here, so... It's time to raw play out Heimerdinger. He is defended. Now, I do lose Forge's value because I have chosen Formula rather than Hexbliterator, but that's okay. Actually, maybe I haven't chosen Hexbliterator yet. So it runs three Lost Soul, three Karina, the Champs, the rest are spells with a couple of Granite. Really, so it's a lot more spells than usual. There goes a Fallen Rider, there goes a Lost Soul. No, you don't. We are... <gasps> and we have another Heimer in hand anyway. Plus, by doing it in this sequence, we allow Heimerdinger to see 9 power of tech summoned. And we're holding this Mystic Shot. Now, the Floor Begone isn't actually allowed to strike thanks to the Poro Bot, which is not something I thought about, which is a little unfortunate. Um, because I'm fully tapped out thanks to the Mist Call, which is still probably worth it in the Ah, was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. We're gonna full swing. If the man dies, then that's still okay. Obviously, you go into you. There's no reason not to do that. All the units are living. Okay, except that one, which is, you know, a completely fine trade to force them to use vision on units who are about to die anyway. I suppose Karina could then disrupt my plans, like, a little bit, but I'm ready to use the second one. Um, Jace can't come out with a sick cost either. We're just... I mean, I can play Reggie for value here. I don't want to use Heimer's v progress day right away. It's kind of not good. The best move is Reggie. That leaves me on 7. It leaves me unable to Mystic Shot, but it gives me a blocker. Not against Fearsomes, but against... Well, it'll eat the can't block from Risen Reckoner. Which is still not ideal. Fill all units with three... No, that's not it either. I guess we're taking a Piercing this Darkness. A problem. I'm your man. Which I already have. So it's a bit of a shame. But... No chance of Scion here. Hmm. No, the path to lethal is definitely not Love involving Jace. No they have to act. If they don't act, I win the game. They're tapped under anything threatening, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this right away. Um, give myself an extra floor be gone. Give myself the Nexus health. That, yeah, okay, beautiful. Perfect, perfect. I'm so much better than the last time I played this. Truly remarkable.
Um, I'm so much more patient playing the board rather than dumping removal makes this deck feel far better than it used to. I'm I'm a so yeah, I think I oh hang on. I'm leaving the mic on then. Uh so Socket's in his cage, right? He's moving around. For right. some reason I hear some kind of crinkling. Okay. So I look into the cage and I'm like, what the fuck? Why is there a condom in Socket's cage? What the It's his skin. He shed his skin. Okay, and your first thought was that a condom was in your snake's terrarium. For some reason, yeah, because okay. like it was rolled up at the end, because he starts at his mouth and he pushes it all the way down his body, so it just rolled up perfectly. Yeah, I see we're going for the most likely outcome first. Yeah. I'm I'm messed <laughs> up, dude. Like, you know me. Anyways, good luck with the grind. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I'm getting some water, so I'll be right back. Be right back. Be right back. Feels really. Ah, yes! Dude, I stopped caring about results. I just started blasting my music. I just started playing the game. I stopped caring about the process nearly as much and just boom! It suddenly worked. I cared about the process until I finally internalized it. We are playing against Lurk. Now, this is going to be very, very, very dangerous in the early game. It's going to be very hard to develop up my Heimerdinger, but it's going to be essential that I can. Um, is this. Is this too greedy? This leaves me with very few actual blockers, although the handler himself can be a blocker if necessary, but I have nothing to proc him with. Um, and that curve is stupid awkward. I won't be able to get a 6 cost until turn 6, and I will very likely to dead draw something. So, uh, I'm going to discard Heimerdinger. We're going to try to win the game off Jace Quick Attack, primarily. Uh, we're going to throw away the handler, and we're just going to, yeah, we're going to run Jace and a bunch of removal if we can. Beautiful, beautiful hand. That's what we want. Uh, we are not casting that production surge on six. That is a terrible, terrible window to use it in. I have a bad feeling that they're just going to get this lurk off. Yeah, they are. That might be Rek'Sai too. No, it's not Rek'Sai, so there's no Rek'Sai in hand at all. Otherwise, she, they would have put her there. Uh, they've already gotten the attack off, so it's better for me to bank, I think. Yep. They've already gotten the attack off, so I should bank. I'm going to prepare to Shock Blast. Now, if I am just using pure removal into their board, I will lose. I have to push damage onto their Nexus. I have to actually be able to threaten them. Um... I think this is actually better on this particular turn than the Shock Blast. Before things are like really tanky, we can start trading on the board. They did not hit Lurk. That's really unfortunate for them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that, and then we're going to swing for three damage. Really lucky for us. Now, I'm not able to stop that particular Xersai Hatchling from attacking next turn, because of course I've spent my mana and they knew that. Um... That one does, in fact, hit Lurk. Oh, it hits Lurk with Rek'Sai. So what I will do now is... Am I playing the board? You will be essential for killing things later, I believe. Scum! 
cover for us. So I'm choosing to use my unit into him because I just want to develop up my Jace right now. I was trying to figure out, I mean, like, that's damage into Nexus, that's damage into Nexus. I'm going to play out QA Jace. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 damage to Nexus if I can do that. It's unlikely that I'll be able to. Of course, Challenger has pretty much no value in this matchup, so... Blood in the water. Oh! I, oh my god, the first... The turn two lurk was Pike. They only lurked on Pike and Rek'Sai. Oh no, I am not playing around Death from Below at all. I don't know how to do that yet. Shit. And now I'm tapped under Shock Blast for the Pike. Oh, that's really bad. If Call isn't Rek'Sai... Expect Pike. Okay, it might be a bit of a non-interactive game from this point out, everybody. Uh, so I am going to uh, be obligated to take a gamble. What seems to be the I am obligated to gamble here. I am obligated to make this game volatile. It's not blood in the water. It's fucking blood in the water. My God. Tides rising. Alright, I mean, we knew this game was about to get fucking scary, so it is what it is, right? If you develop anything, then I just... Clever girl. I think we use Heimerdinger as a blocker here. I think we have to give our Heimerdinger. Wait, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, the pike is flipping. Alright, you're fucking annoying. People who Shen Bao at the actual end of the game, I like them. People who Shen Bao because they made one good play, step on a Lego and put an attack in your urethra. QA Jace. Forced into it. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. Powering up. Harder to contribute our damage. Yeah, I know this game is so fucked at this point. Oh god! With no hextech handlers either. Bring the boats. I'll drag them under. Okay, we cannot kill Pike, but we can kill everything that isn't Pike. Wait, we can kill Pike because we're duplicating. Okay, we're not allowed to hit the Nexus right now, which really fucking sucks. Wait. Do you want to take a gamble, guys? Let's take a gamble. Hey, show me that Let's again. take a gamble. This game's fucked anyway. Give me some blockers. That's, uh, I'll take my not an ideal hit, to life. say the least. Alright, so my entire board is now dead because I did not actually know how to play into Pike. I'm going to take that 8 no matter what. I played the exact wrong line because I have just never seen a Pike get this bad. So I have no idea what to do about it. <sighs> the 
That was a blowout. That was a blowout. Despite the fact that... Blech. Okay, hang on. Can I hold on? I mean, the units are useless, straight up. How did they hit there? Like... No, it was just a normal one lurk. Yeah. Board's too bad. I didn't see a line. Um... Never seen a pike get that fed. I understand that. Call the pack must be pike if it's not Rek'Sai. Um, actually. Uh, Prod Surge was not an all in. It just dies to pike 2. So I made like a shit ton of misplays just around the concept of Pike that I didn't understand. Um, which sucks. I mean, they pulled a lot of very lucky things. But I misplayed many, many times. That deck is so frustrating if it just randomly gets going. Right? Because it's, it's impossible to expect somebody to prevent every lurk attack. Like, they're gonna get going eventually. Death from below, though. Fuck, man. What am I playing against? Hello, Legends of Runeterra! What's going on here? I would like to play my game and do my mulligan, please. I'm a control deck and that matters. Alright, there we go. We are playing against Nasus Callista, which is not Helia, right? That's something weird and different. Um, I don't really want to keep this in opening pretty much ever. Uh, what is this? What is this? I mean, maybe it is Helia. They just decided to use Callista. I'm going to assume it's Helia then. We're going to keep the Soul Harvest. Um... Shock Blast on three is... I mean, it's likely to hit Rock Bear. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be throwing you away. Wait, maybe you're my value. I mean, you're not expected to get off the ground just yet. Hmm. So my strategy, my strategy has been against Helia to just shoot their small units on sight. I'm not sure that's exactly... Okay, this is not Helia. This is not Helia. This is not Helia at all. Um... Would you look at this place? Do I want to take four? Four to guarantee ma No, I mean... I'll be taking three if I play Reggie, but I'll be getting value. I mean, I still think Rock Bear Shepherd might be coming out, so I can't spend that. I want to... Harrowing, second shot. Uh, I'll pull an extra shot blast. You got caught! I mean, obviously what's going to happen is no you and you. Yeah, I mean, if they were smart, maybe they would have... I don't know. Still pulls me a spell. Means I can't use one right away. That's pretty good. Um, am I okay with taking three on an open attack if they do nothing? Yes, I am. Okay, it is Helia. Ten, 
technically I was allowed to play out a unit first, so I wouldn't be taking three. I wasn't in that much of a rush, but... Watch me. Uh, what this does is this gives me a Heimer turn, like, guaranteed, so... This gives me Heimer covered with a Mist Call, and so we're gonna get out some removal. We're gonna raw play the Heimer Digger. We're gonna have a formula next turn. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So use your removal, please. They do not have removal! Ooh! Uh, well, I can't guarantee that just yet, actually, because they could be trying to bait out. No, they're not. So they're trying to just... More than likely, what's going to happen now is they open attack. Because they know I don't want to spend my time. No, they're not going to open attack. Um... So I'm going to take max possible value here out of Heimerdinger. We're going to formula. And then we're going to immediately hit this, I believe. Hit these two. So that only Nasus can strike for five damage direct to Nexus, which I will accept. Because we are threatening with two Florbegons, which are about to be empowered by Hextech Handlers. Not yet. But they will be. This too shall end. That's okay. You know I'm going to accept that. Round and round and round it goes! Little unfortunate that that gets hits, but it is what it is, right? I mean, I can push that to 14 damage if I play out a Hextech Handler. My most advancing collective knowledge! We're in an outstanding spot right now. I mean, of course, there's no Hex Obliterator or anything to deal with Nasus right now. Uh, I am going to play out the Hextech Handler to push more damage and make them more uh, resistant to removal. That is okay. I mean, Heimerdinger is dead, but Life I'm still death. pushing 14 damage onto your face. Now, if we ever pull Jace with this Shock Blast in hand, we will instantaneously win. Um, I am going to play this. There's obviously no Castigate here. There's no Helia for me to deal with. Their Snowball is not off the ground while my value has gone through. Uh, it ends up being quicksand, so Nasus is going to be able to trade into one of them. Um, but what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to play the Mystical. Before it dies. Heimerdinger's back. We can just keep playing with him for a bit now. Which is profoundly annoying for my enemy. Um, if Nasus does not open attack, I will be able to Shock Blast him. That ends up, unfortunately for me, being a second Siphoning Strike. Um, I will retaliate with... I think I, I, think I unironically missed Call it again, no? That leaves me on... Six? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. We, we shall not rest until all this race is fucking big is the issue. But I can just dump fearsome blockers in front of them and not really care at this point, yeah? Yeah, I can. I mean, they're going to take one of my Flurby Guns, obviously. They're going to trade Nasus for it, which implies they have a for us, um, Rekindler in hand. Round and round and round it goes! Pride filled us forever. <gasps> Jace! Oh my god, Jace is here! Ah, but we're fucking one turn, or one mana off what we actually need in that combo, which is really depressing. So it should be Jace Reggie. Wait, hang on. No, because I can push for lethal instead. What am I doing? I 
intentions don't determine themselves. Yeah, I should push for lethal. What am I doing? <laughs> They've already used two siphoning strikes. I mean, they can still have a vengeance, or a, I mean, they're likely to have a vengeance. We There's Nasus, here's the floor be gone, they're tapped under everything. And it should be elusive lethal here. Ah, uh, yeah, it's elusive lethal. Okay. Goodbye, Heimerdinger. And I will shut and bow them because they were an honorable opponent who played well. Almost M4, Jace. <laughs> um, So, I mean, the problem that I'm running into right now, guys, is I don't like having Jace in my mulligan. I don't like having Hextech Handler in my mulligan. Like, the way that I'm playing, I feel like it's a little binary in my mulligan, and I don't know how to be really diverse in my decisions. Mm. So, tomorrow's Tears of the Kingdom Day. Uh, I do not have a pre-order. I will not be able to purchase it on day one. So, um, what the hell is the Jarvan Annie? Jarvan Annie. I mean, okay, I'll keep a Mystic. I'll keep a Vengeance for the Jarvan. I mean, we'll have a consistent. I mean, we won't have a consistent turn three with assembly line. So actually, in that case, wait. But if it must be a Demacia of some sort. What is this, Broadmain? What is this? I have literally no concept of what this can be. So... So I'm gonna keep my hand and see what happens. They kept their hand too, that's kinda scary. I'm ready to snipe Annie. I don't know how important. If Raven Bloom comes out, we know what it is. Fleet Feather, okay. I guess. Do I want to take four so I can play the men on? <sighs> Which would lock me out of. I'd be forced into. That would put me on a mystic on four. Would not have coverage for one. Would not have a play on three. Okay, with this hand, I should let them hit me for four, I think. Come out, come out. Never mind. Wherever you are. Six plus just Annie as a whole, not allowed. <sighs> that still taps me under. This is super awkward. Um I'm okay to take four one more time if I see them. See, that's seven damage on four. I can't greed. I have to play him as a blocker, which really sucks. I do not like that one bit. I'm not going to be able to proc him this turn. He has to die. If 
fucking killing me, man. Come on. Not a good pull. Not a good pull at all. I mean, I definitely don't mind that they're trading everything away. Okay, they are not trading everything away. That much I can say. I have significant card advantage. Their board advantage is only two wide. Their Jarvan progress is only one, right? So I'm not gonna screw up into the Overwhelm unit. Okay. What are the odds of direct removal into Heimerdinger? The worst they could have is Cataclysm, which would be immediately game ending. So I am not allowed to do that. I must instead open with Soul Harvest, Bank 3, Prey. Because we are sitting in a position where we do have fast spells next turn. I think if we weather this particular storm, uh, that changes nothing. That's dead anyway. You just wasted a spell. Huge. Very good for me. Very good for me. That is a blocking badger bear. They are threatening 8 damage. Okay, and if this is a Jarvan in hand, they are threatening quite a bit more. Okay. Um, I am not fond of the idea of just taking 8 damage to the face. I believe I am obligated to play this Hex Obliterator. There's no Jarvan in hand. I've seen two form-ups already. We play out my handler. Let's get ready to develop it. Is it time for the men? Ugh, okay, hmm. I get... Yeah, I have to... I think I'm gonna play the men. I think the men is better for me in this state. Yeah, we're in a good spot. For my father, Raw the played Jarvan, no barrier. My opponent has now revealed all the information in their hand. They are not a particularly potent player. Um, I'm gonna get ready to- okay, so they're not gonna give me the opportunity. What the actual fuck am I looking at? I'm not even pressured to use a spell right now. Is this a fucking rally? Why are they Shen bowing me? Leaves me on four. Did they top deck a rally? I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I think the only line I lose to is a rally. See the yeah, okay, okay. We, we, it battle. turned out it turned out we were safe. But I didn't know, right? Ah, the sweet smell of science. <laughs> round and round and round it goes. <laughs> Obedient Drake Hound. Yeah, I think it's totally fine. It's my time. You're so annoying. Stop it. This Drake Hound doesn't threaten me at all.
gonna play a broad surge. It's completely in, like completely unnecessary and disrespectful to play out the Hextech handler after this, so we're just gonna... Who gets tossed? Kato! Oh, it works. oh no, this is some nonsense. Technically Heimer should swing too. I would not want to be you. Yep. I do not Shen Bao until the game's actually confirmed over, sir. Um, I do not know what that deck was at all. Jarvan Annie, that's a dub. Uh, bad deck, bad plays. I focused heavily on when it was safe to cheat Heimerdinger and made active d decisions at each points. Good job. It's, it, yeah, it's a silly, goofy little aggro list. I can't let all the hate flow through me. Like, next thing I know, they're gonna cataclysm something with some overwhelmed shenanigans, and I, I don't know, right? I can't know what it is, but it's nice that we played safe. Yeah, playing safe is always the best go. If there's one, if there is one single line that you would lose to, make sure you don't lose to it. Play around it. We are now playing against Deep. Now, my deck has a very favorable matchup into Deep as long as I go at the same pace as them. Um, the handlers are... Hmm... I think I can keep one? I mean, it's a part of my combo, but how necessary is it? I mean, Devourer is really, really effective into my champs. Okay, I like this. We're going to freely play at the Forge Chief on one. Let's get to work. If it's Drag Dredgers, then so be it. They shouldn't be concerned about my early units, so if they have Drag Dredgers, they'll play it. They do not have Drag Dredgers. Yeah. Um, that is a viable hand read because there's no shot they're saving go, for people. undergrowth or anything like that. So. Oh, we have an amazing hand into them. I won't get much value out of that. Okay, is there anything essential? Oh, shit. Um. How bad does that stifle me? It doesn't. It still gives me a six on four. Unless I play Hextech Handler. I'm willing to trade That's into that best. one, I think. Am I? No, my mana situation's great and the blocker's valuable. Yeah, I'm willing to just pass this. I can stomp it from striking, but is that wise? Keep it up. 
This gives me an aqua shock if they try to develop something else out if I really wanted it. Ah, uh, they don't want it. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty clear how this game's gonna play out from this point on. I'm allowed to formula into the spell, or I'm allowed to... Well, looks like the value line for me is formula into Hexploit, right? I'll keep my man, thank you very much. This stifles you pretty well. That's a big turn in nothing and no tossing. Mm, I'd like to bank this turn. I can only play at most four if I want to be comfortable here. They're playing a value turn. Okay. In that case, I shall also uh, play a value turn. All right, Nugget. What you got for me? No champs. That's gonna be a problem Three eventually. Told me about this one. They did just go deep. Okay. Got a really funny line. Really? That's what- Oh, shit. Okay. Still zero champions present. That's gambling. That is gambling right there. That's not likely to hit. We find a Jace. Playing him makes me now unable to retaliate against development, and the current state of the board is actually not bad. We'll see who feasts tonight. Oh, oh, shit. That's way better then. Okay, it's not, not the play I was intending to make, but the play I was intending to make turned out to be pretty bad. I wanted to make that one, or I wanted to. That's your line, okay. That is meaningfully threatening in terms of beatdown. So I'm now out of units. I lost that interaction real hard. Um, I think I'm going to prod surge for chump blockers. Give me two. You fuckers. Alright, that's okay. Going harvesting. I really need Heimer. I need to find Heimerdinger. If I develop out Jace here and get vengeance in exchange, I loot. Yeah, it's so bad if I do that. I'm clear. Tech tech cannon tested and primed. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. Expliterator now works. I 
no donger. Um, Uh, we abrupt beat down with either sudden wide board acceleration gates or with Heimerdinger's elusive turrets. We just haven't drawn our champions in a comfortable spot. Okay, let's think about this. This is safest line. Interesting use of tech. That that that's the Let's purpose. See, now we have a really stable board, although it is one that that was a that was a very incorrect line. Did I see them? Did I see them draw that? Wait, that was a very incorrect line. A vicious plate worm on the board. Oh, I blundered. I just blundered. I don't have a fucking win con. Oh shit. I blundered really badly. I'm not even allowed to declare my blocks now cuz ah. Fuck. Okay, no, this is Nope, no winning. Impossible. Well, that could have gone better. That sucks, because that is a very Heimer Jace favored matchup. Okay, okay. I blundered the men on my Jace flip, as they would never have been capable of blocking into Terror of the Tides. Then my opponent rolled the perfect treasure to instant win um yeah that was a blunder that was a bad 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 use of the men that one was not okay that blowout turn too like heimer jace is not supposed to go down tempo against deep but that one turn where i just got like overly interacted with not good. We are playing against Samira Pantheon now. Um, is my forge going to be useful in this matchup? Remember Samira Pantheon? I mean, that gets out of hand fast. It, it's a pigeon. It's a pigeon deck. No, it's not a pigeon deck. That's right. It's Eula Shepherd. I mean, it's going to be Lodestone, Ballista, a lot of early stuff. We want to kill stuff as they come in. Otherwise, we're going to struggle a lot. Um, keeping Heimerdinger is greedy. Well, this plays the board actually quite decently against their early units. Ooh, finding my Albus. Yeah, this is also potentially the win condition. But having Albus here is... Not ideal. True power eclipses both day and night. In twilight. Yeah, I had no answer to that particular unit. This is more efficient on this particular hand, I think. What do we end up with? Quick attack? Anyone seen any sheep around here? Oh, oh yeah. it improvised oh, anyway. We got the Oh, come on, that's just rude. That locks me out of my sixes. 
That locks me out of my sixes, but... And also, that's my Samira answer, too. The equipment I see in hand doesn't actually have to be those. Oh, Alright, shut the fuck up. You're the worst player. I don't know, I don't get how people can be toxic playing a fucking, like, children's card game. Uh... I don't want to Hexbliterate that, but it's obviously receiving the Ballista. The Ballista doesn't actually cause... I mean, it's faded, so if I were to kill it, I'd have to kill it now, but I mulled away my Shock Blast. I should not have mulled away my Shock Blast, that would have been... Actually waste no I can I can yeah okay I can waste more mana by letting him play the ballista on the white flame yep we passed that oh but it gives pantheon progress that's my bad and then I go ahead and hexbliterate that trade you away like that and then kill the ballista so it is no longer in play And that is a far more threatening piece of equipment than the Pot of Pain. I'm very glad we found that particular line. Okay, so we are now eligible to play another six cost spell if we wanted to. Jace wouldn't do anything right away and is likely to. Well, what's he likely to run into? Um, he beats everything right now, but he would then immediately lose to a Pale Cascade and I would get blown up by throwing away my champion. So let's play for the value line of Reggie. Wait for development. We want the second Hexbliterator because, again, equipment deck. Albus is on four. Maybe I should have taken the Shock Blast. Why do I keep not taking Shock Blast? Yes, my lord. Yes, it does. Obliterate does, in fact, delete equipment. We are going to trade exact even levels of interaction. If I spot a Heimerdinger draw, I think I'm actually just taking it with this missed call in hand. Do not see a Heimerdinger draw. Okay. Well, Pantheon is now gone. We're not going to be able to pierce through him just yet. Uh, he is going to flip on this turn. So, what does that mean for us? That means we have to... Uh, let's play a Forge Chief. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. He's going to flip as soon as they put the Ballista on him. There he goes. I this is a little bit scary, especially... I, I maybe should have kept the... Ooh, I guess the Mystic Shot was necessary for dealing with him. What does he roll? He rolls... Okay, he's got Lifesteal, Elusive, Challenger, Fury, Augment. So, actually not the most threatening series of keywords, I suppose, but... Bleed, we must. I mean, you're elusive. You're just gonna hit me. There's nothing I can do about that, but... Okay, and now that it's played out this way, I suppose the best thing for me to do is to uh, develop out Jace. We'll give him QA in this context. Hey, man. You ready to get in I mean, I'm just <laughs> experimenting with QA, Jason, ready. a little more often. Now we swap to the Pot of Pain. Uh, we are definitely a little concerned about him getting outside of Hexbliterator range, which is why we are going to preemptively formula to flip Jace. Come now Jace is flipped. So now it is good. absolutely impossible for Pantheon to get out of range of Hexbliterator. Um... We are going to opt to do it like this. Interesting use of tech. That's threatening 12 damage on Pantheon.
Okay, it does mean Jace is dead because I'm not allowed to use my Mist Call on him, but it did progress Albus a lot. And it got rid of their, like, dominant win condition here. Um... Let's get moving. You're giving me both. Wow. What are you giving me both for? You want to play equipment, that's for sure. Uh, Soul Harvest is quite nice. I mean, N Naganeka might come out here. Uh, it ends up being Horazi, actually. So I'm just going to make sure she has no followers to work with. Um... Punished on an Albus, we find Jace. Well, if it isn't the man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. Ooh, so, wait, does this one sunburst? Did I just play in a sunburst? Oh! Second furious wielder, man. I have no counterplay. Wait a second, I have plenty of counterplay. Wait a fucking second, did I just win the game? That is fucking criminal! Hextech engaged. I didn't win instantaneously, but that's a shock blast, so yeah, I did. Money matters. Combo, baby! Gonna mark today down as a success. So the play I was actually going for was an acceleration gate, but it turned out to be a fork with Mist's Call Albus. No goddamn way. What an unbelievable way to win a game of Legends of Runeterra. Has Jace surpassed Kindred at this point? I think barely not. Yeah, barely not. He's about to, though. It's going to happen, which is tragic. <laughs> that is criminal! Yeah. What the fuck did I just witness? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go move around, take a break. I'm gonna turn my music way down. So some of my VOD gets muted when I'm playing the music on this particular screen. I don't know why. Um, especially since the record the music's not even in the VOD. But if anyone asks why the music's so quiet, that's why. I'll be right back.
Well, I'll turn it up like a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I don't give a shit about my slightly muted Twitch VOD when I step away. The YouTube VOD's intact. My recording's intact. No copyright on those. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'll be just in another moment, guys. My mom called. She's pretty far away right now, so give me a moment.
Ow! That was my green screen. I kicked it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what have we got? Winning record! It's been a while since we had that on Heimer Chase. It's not what I should focus on. Um, what I'm focusing on really is just like... You know, again, my, I'm, I'm trying to think very deeply through my mulligans. Hmm. Oh, and I have an orange for later. When I need some extra sugars to replenish myself. <clears throat> Illawi Swain. Okay, this is real, but I've never encountered it. It is a broad main... Is this control? Well, it's a broad main burn deck, that's for sure. Actually, there's only one of broad main. Broad main is just an optional thing in here. So, I mean, big units, big shock... <sighs> I'm actually going to keep all of it. Odds of parlay are pretty high. I shouldn't have kept my... Yeah, parlay, heavy metal. Make it rain. Ooh, I shouldn't have kept my forge juice. You go first. Deal two to me and spawn one. Oh yeah, hold on. Very funny maneuver coming up here. I think that's. Oh, you're swinging on me. I'm gonna do this. I could have been hit by a fervor, but. The sea she calls, the world we answer. Do I want to play my value line in Reggie, like the standard value? I don't have any other... F I don't have any six costs to play that would matter. This doesn't have QA. I kind of missed when this had QA. It was so easy to just slam it when it had QA. Hi, Deck Club. I'm willing to trade this with you if you want it. I just... Life is too short for fear. A little less willing to trade that one if I'm being honest. Fortunately, the spawn is very poor at the moment. Um, and I know I'm not going to be able to vengeance here. I think I... I by, uh, by doing this, I revealed... A... No! I should have played Reggie into Fish for Vengeance! Man, that would have been so much better than what I did. Come, test Naga Shul. Okay, well, I think I'm voice? going to give you the C's voice right now. Or we're going to trade like that. We're going to keep the tentacles small. Ah, I shouldn't have played it in combat. I shouldn't have played it in combat. Let's fight a vengeance, shall we? Well, I'm not gonna lie, that ruination is kind of appealing too. Um, you become seven. Actually. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want the ruination. I help when I can. Shut up when I can't. Pirouettes. Okay, there are two pirouettes in this deck. more are you going to develop here? You are near. Six. Oh no! I'm one short. One eight. 
well. Yeah, it's hard for them to buff her power. A fine death. Okay, they're going all in on this one particular tentacle, which is about to have overwhelm. Let's get to work. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. These feel more expendable. I mean, the hexak hands I would have gotten to tell you. This is gonna go overwhelm. Albus is available. I have ten mana exactly. Play a Leviathan. Oh my fucking god, they did. Oh my fucking god, they did. That's one damage to face. In her embrace. Swain is flipped when he comes down. Um, Albus doesn't win me the game on the spot at all. Swain has seven. See, the problem I'm running into now is like, this is just a tricky position. Nine, I could do six. Obviously, Swain comes down here. Jace doesn't do anything for me either. So you are the only one that gets me immediate value. It's so easy for my enemy to remove things. Empire above all! Glory, courage, excuses for war. Zero protection. You should be extremely suspicious of this. How tedious. There's no protection in the deck. Oh, How someone fell for that one, I have no idea. But prepare the cargo. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. Positions! Ten left. Deal one to the enemy nexus twice. Watch your toes. He doesn't get any more value. I mean, I'm not expecting to do a lot with him here. Tomorrow has never looked so good. What the heck, Jace is better than I realized in Endgame. Nothing beats field testing. You're just bonking me? Okay. Replicating the power spike. Oh, so good. Oh, that's so good. Let's 
scorched earth. Gotcha. Oh no. No missed skull, unfortunately. But that's fine. That's Don't totally fine. Um, it does make my removal quite a lot harder, to say the least. Um. By my hand will Noxus rise. Grand General! Once again, zero protection. I'm tapped, of course I'm tapped under. Ah, a beautiful day for sailing. My most groundbreaking invention to date! <laughs> Okay. How am I going to deal with Swain? Is the thing. Deal one of the enemy nexus that stuns Heimdall. So the natural response to that is me playing, playing assembly line. Such little lives. I have to survive exactly one turn. It should be reasonably easy. Favorable 13 minutes safe. Yeah, I'm clear. I'm clear. I'm clear. Yep, there we go. All right, we found the win. We are at war. Do you feel her presence? Do you hear oh, her I just... voice? Boy, help. Oops! I should never have played at the floor. Be gone here. Ow! Because I don't have. Ah, oh, shit! Because he's a little tankier than I would have liked. Well, can I... I can do that at the very least if you're going to die anyway. And we still find the win off Alvis. I will break them. My most groundbreaking invention to date. And even if we don't, we find it off Chase, no? Okay, yeah, you're out of cards in hand. It's two at most. So, we're going to play out Albus. The production surge is not going to do very much, but Alvis will instantaneously win the game. The if you don't deal with ages. either of these threats. Actually, if you don't yeah, if you don't deal with both of these threats. Albus is the most pressing one. Just rotating my orange. <laughs> By my hand will Noxus rise. Doesn't matter. I declare the attack, I win the game. Justify yourself. Pishaw. Lovely. 
Now, surrendering on last move doesn't change anything. I feel like I want to skim through that game in case I missed something. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember, I remember. Um, Reggie versus Hextech handler for value is dependent on future turns. Am I expected to quickly get turrets out or do I need likely vengeance, hex litter, aider, etc. pull? That's a very important principle I need to keep in mind. You know, before I was, like, using my list of principles to, like, really keep everything in mind, but it turns out I just need to keep working at things over and over. Okay, Vagar Nora. Vagar must not survive. It is absolutely essential that Vagar cannot survive. We are holding a Vengeance. We are holding a Hexbliterator. We should not need both. We must be exerting some threat on him on four, however. Um, it would be even better if I were capable of also mystic shotting the catalyzer away. Maybe I should have kept Reggie on the off chance that. Car. That orange isn't good. I can't eat that orange. Ugh. Ugh. That's not. That's gone bad. I seem to have misplaced my. Uh, uh, I can't stop Nora. But it's not the catalyzer, so it should be okay. Heimerdinger's visible. Uh, Nora Vagar. Hi, Darian. How are you doing? We're, we're performing so much better than we used to. I know you didn't really see much of yesterday, but... Super huge. I don't want to... I don't want to greed the handler out. I want to let... Should I let them go first? I'll bleed some. No, let's play my value turn. Actually kind of sexy. If I do this, if I do this, if I do this, if I do this, I am... Tapped under vengeance, but capable of killing Vagar in two ways. Let's leave it like this. We beat Mist's Call now. Only I can Ugh. Darkness. Only I. Ugh. We have to make a decision now. Um, shit. Not good, not good, not good. We're kind of forked now. Um, they did have it in the end. So we're forked. Uh, we have to kind of pray. No, Okay, because I'm on three right now. We will be on seven next turn. Vagar is a higher priority target, but we also can't allow that to strike. Um, I should have opened past. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize I'd be exposing myself to this fork. This is not good. If I pull a Mystic Shot, like, maybe we can make do... Um, but, yes, yeah, I think, I think, I, I'm talking about how much I've improved, and then I completely blunder this line. Um, they're likely to open attack. No, they're forging Nora off that, and then open attacking, yeah. Well, this is the worst possible outcome. Um. Yeah. So, where's my recovery? Do I have recovery? The catalyzer is going to strike. There's no way of stopping it with this hand. I am extremely forked. I must accept... I must accept three power darkness. I must accept three power darkness. And it sucks so much. But. Uh... We can no longer beat Mist's Call. 
but I'm allowed to play you. Big head. Big it's a no Vagar hand. Oh. Five, eight, eight total, can't kill Vagar. Hmm. Ooh, Master, welcome back. This doesn't imply a no Vagar hand. We can't read that. We were banking too much. It only implies a no Soul Harvest hand. Okay. So the problem is, as soon as Vagar goes, he starts to beat my turrets forever. But if I also if I pass, I'm just gig it out tempoed. Also, if I use Forge Chief, you start to strike. Okay, my situation is too dire. I'm forced into this line, and I don't like it, but I am forced into it. My mind. Here comes Vagar. Yeah. Oh, I really, really blundered my early turns, guys. Or my hand bricked or something. So this is a game we're watching back for sure. Alright, swing. Yeah, trade a unit. Yeah, it's so fucked. We lost the game. Darkness is on four. Uh... That darkness is way too fucking ramped. Well, we can hex obliterate, and that beats Mist's Call. But it also leaves them free to develop, with which, if it's second Vagar, we have that on the spot. If it's second Vagar, we will forfeit. Okay, they do not have second Vagar, thank goodness. A uh, Hyverdinger cannot be played, which is really tragic. How do I even approach it from this position? Everything I play dies. I mean, this defends... This still... If I play three of these, it will not defend my floor beyonds. I can't get Jace out without... Oh my god! No, game is game state is so ungodly fucked that I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't do anything and it's a control mirror. And I can't stop them from doing their thing. So that that means the game is there's there's nothing we can do. Okay. So reminder, never ever in my life tell somebody that I've started doing better than before. Never. It's a curse. It's a jinx. Do not boast that you've improved. It's a curse. It's a jinx. And I'm listening Do not to myself because that for some reason I can It's a curse. This. It's a jinx. Stop it! Do not boast because that for some reason I can It's a curse. Okay. Okay, watch this. Uh, I opened my stream, and for some reason, it opened not muted. So, Mulligan. We know we are obligated to... Okay. Basically, we must not let Vagar's Darkness ramp if we want to win this matchup. If we do that, if we keep it stifled, he can't do anything ever. Unfortunately, the Nora version of Darkness, and I see now why people are not running Senna, the Nora version of Darkness actually invokes board pressure, so you have to answer it, which allows you to cheat out opportunities for Vagar to come out, at least in control mirrors. That's very powerful. Um, I chose to keep a Vengeance, and I chose to keep... Well, I, okay, I should be keeping Hexbliterator. I should be keeping Hexbliterator and not Vengeance. Why? Because then I beat Mist Call. So that in itself was a mistake. Um... The hand that we have has no answer straight up to anything. Uh, oh. Well, I mean, there's our problem. We have no board presence and no turn two answers. 
It's as simple as that. Um, but then this turn, this turn, the position that we are in is comfortable. I did not consider the possibility of a Catalyzer coming out anyway, but obviously my opponent's not stupid, right? So open pass is correct here. Open pass allows, you know, I want them to go first. What I need to realize is that the condition that I'm in is comfortable. Instead, I end up greeting into my formula, and then they are able to develop the Catalyzer. The Catalyzer forks me completely. If I want to answer the Catalyzer, I can no longer answer Vagar in 4. I'm instantane I instantaneously lose the game for playing formula. Now, that is a loss I'm willing to accept, because before the problem was that I don't play formula enough. This is just the first time that I happen to have been punished on um, trying to play some value that's a little inappropriate. So, uh, turn 3 open pass was correct since I instantly lost off formula play. Um, Catalyzer plus Vagar extreme fork, too much threat. Um, if board state looks okay, don't act, right? Also keep hex literator. Okay. I mean, that was an immediately productive loss, so honestly, whatever. The fact that I lost is pretty okay. This song dropped a couple of months ago, and I was so excited. Was it months? Maybe weeks. They just... Yeah, this song, the song... Oh, sorry, no, this is acquired. Yeah, yeah. But there were a few songs that just dropped on the extended version of this album, and it's like, oh. Super nice. We are playing as Shivana Jarvan Garen, which I anticipate, it's in Freljord. I anticipate it's just normal elites, but with Shiv, which does mean I am obligated to mull for uh, an answer to Battlesmith, but they should not use it. Okay, this is a better hand. We're going to be playing a little slower. We're not going to be expecting a six cost on turn three. This is not the deck I expected it to be. Actually, you know, elites have started running that. I think this guy likes Garen. I have board answers to that, but it'll require me to take four. But when am I actually getting... Oh, I can hit Shiv with that. Least deck, but with Revna. Actually, very possible. Very possible, that's what that is. But then what's Shiv doing here, too? Okay, well, this is my Shiv answer as well. Hmm... In that case, it's highly likely I don't actually get much value out of this in the future, right? So even though I would have had a board answer... That slows me a bit, but it leaves me capable of playing a Mystic Shot anyway. You go first, board state is fine. Alright, I broke my own... Okay, see? And we're happy with that. You raw play Shiv, and she's unaffected. <sighs> I can't let that live. I know that's a bad card, but in my deck in particular, that is so ankle-breaking. Actually, hang on. It is still correct to play it out in this sequence. We find a Heimer. We find him unprotected from this call. We end up doing this. We're liable to take, like, maybe two or three more. Ah! Form up on the Stony Suppressor. Oh, shit.
Oh, that's a blowout tempo turn. Oh, and it is breaking me the fuck out, let's be clear. I would expose Heimer to a Cataclysm, but I have absolute... I mean, again, board state is fine. Board state is fine. Can I cheat out value? If Heimer's exposed to Cataclysm or single, no, I can't cheat out value. Although, it would have to be Cata plus form up, which is less likely, but still very possible. Would immediately lose me the game if I were to succumb to that. Um, yeah, I lose. So I have to let you go first. See what you're willing to develop. See what kind of threat I'm in under. Accepting it again. We both bank. Shock Blast for seven. We fight for those who cannot. We're already tempo negative. Let's make this game uncomfortable on this stage. We're going to use Heimerdinger as a blocker and revive him with Miss Call. Problem. They're tapped under Kata. They're tapped under any, everything that matters. Wait, you're offering me that? I'm taking that, no? I can't, I can't make floor be gone because of this suppressor. I'm gonna make the worst turret in the game instead. That is brutal. Okay, the only line that saves me at all is a possible prod surge T-Hex. Yes! We found one. We found one. I am going to sack my Floor Be Gone into the Stony Suppressor at the drop of a hat, or better yet, my T-Hex. Like... It was a Frost Coat Mother? It works? Advancing collective knowledge! not that bad. It's it's not good, but it's not bad. We can't reliably hex obliterate frost coat. Champion strength. It's champion strength we lose. <sighs> well, on paper, yeah. I hate those games where it's like No system is truly error free. I, I I hate the games where you just don't like you, you just lose to something stupid, get blown out on one bad turn. Like Stony Suppressor cripples 
my deck and they were capable of protecting it while developing. Hot take, you don't think I lost there? I would have survived that turn. I mean, like... How can I play the game out after that tempo loss into that stony suppressor? Is my question. I can't answer it. Like, I'm playing against Teemo Trist. It's another champion strength deck. Oh, shit, man. Alright, so efficient removal is the name of the game, for sure. Uh, we are worried about... I mean... Bandle Commando, Group Shot. I mean, we're not Pytos, but we're not dealing with Prize Fight or anything this turn. We're just dealing with Champ Strength. Uh, I don't like Prod Surge in Opening Hand. I don't like Hextech Handler, but I'm... Actually, Hextech Handler does pretty well on the board sometimes, but I think I would rather end up here. You've emoted me before the mulligan, so I'm annoyed with you already. There we are. Let's make tomorrow today. Another day in the field. Keep it up. But no, no, guys, I, I have a deeper understanding of my deck than ever before. Like, I, I am allowed to FF now. Best mama is oh, this the is beast a really mama. gross choice. Okay, you're, you're making me make this choice for sure. This is more important than Teemo. Never know what hit I know what cards are in my deck, and I know how yes, tempo works now. Everyone. I know there's not a lot of RNG bullshit in this particular deck. All I have is Reggie. Uh, speaking of, he's optimal here. Uh, I was really hoping to pull a Ruination, but we are not finding that. Uh, instead, I think I think this I'll take the, the true shot. Problem. I'm your man. I should make a speech. Uh, where's my speech? Oh, wow. His mustache is himself. Armed and ready. Well, if that's how we're playing it out, then... More mushrooms! Is that ready for Challenger, Jace? Hey, big man! You ready Odds of him invented? dying are fairly <laughs> low. All day, every day, Reggie. Are we improvising on Teemo? You did one no, on the mayor. Geography means nothing. I don't like that this value engine is allowed to live for so long. Um, double mists call. Oh, wait a fucking minute. No, we've got some sauce here. But the sauce is a funny play, not a good play. Let's get started. A scandal scout never. Two, three, four. think here I can't let Timo flip or the game becomes very very difficult I don't okay. have the hands to Let's immediately accelerate this. I'm afraid of I mean Bandle Commando could come out next turn and get a strike but I'm already in a no it's better for it's I can't wait or I lose to it with this hand yeah okay I'm going to take this play I can beat the insp I can beat you on the board testing Shit, man, no. It's not on my list. I didn't play around that. Oh, but my double missed. No. 
I'm hurt. Is this uh no, it's only a grumble slug, okay. No, but with a double mist call hand, that's such a bad outcome. Um Already? Oh, that still pushes seven. That's a form up deck. Why am I why am I playing into all these combat tricks all of a sudden? Hang on. Okay, this happened yesterday. This happened yesterday. We encountered a string of random misplays. Also, I beat that on the board. So need clearance, pal. They don't want to let me beat it on the board. They're trying to play for champion strength. What do we do? I mean, that's certainly not ideal, but it's something to play with. At least we're on eight. At least we're on five, and five is a tremendously awkward number. Champ strength next turn for sure, for sure. Come on, Nugget. We got places to be. Sing with the darkness in your heart. More impact. Right. I mean, we have an Aftershock available, but they have combat tricks. So it would be best if that Aftershock went to the base of Burden. And no matter what, if I swing with the Hextech Handler, it's you best believe good I pressure on the board. They either kill it or they... Okay, so or they give me the 4 damage. Odds that the single card in hand is champ strength. What do we think? Unreal, it is. It actually... It actually is. Okay, hang on. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what we've got here. I mean... Assembly line, call, call, prod search, formula. Do I need, okay, cause. Wait, I should have formula first. Ah, we just found some fucking puff caps on top of it all. Uh, I mean, this was never going to work ahead of time, but now certainly doesn't work. The Forge Workers, yeah, there's no way of defending myself. Okay. Jesus Christ, we're blundering abruptly. Okay, okay, hang, ooh. Okay, this is our first major, this is our first major tilt, actually. This is our first major tilt since we started blasting our music. So, let me explain to you guys what's going on, and we can try to deal with it, right? So, why is it the first major tilt? Why? Um, well, 
the first major tilt in like five sessions or something. It, it, it's a result of. It's not a result of just making misplays. Ye yesterday, we had a three loss streak, very similar to this one, right? We had a three game loss streak, and it was an easy correction, right? The easy correction was just like, hey, wait, am I being. Last time, it was, am I being too trigger happy with my removal? And I just tried to correct the next game, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I am. And in this game, um, it's actually just happening again, where I'm just blundering into. I mean, it's a few different things. Like, I'm, I'm blundering into forks, and I am. Um, I am. Yeah, just being really hasty with my removal that my enemy likely has answers to. I'm, I'm doing. I'm losing the removal into protection thing again, right? I'm rushing that. So. That's an easy correction again, right? Because we have clear lessons from both. Um. First major tilt since Okay. So I mean intellectually like that, easy solution, right? Where is the tilt coming from if it's not that? Well, it's very, very, very simple, guys. Um, at the core of my being, the fundamental pillar is performance. And the, secretly, what I've been doing underneath is I've been trying to replace that pillar with something else. And I don't know exactly what the right word for it is. Like, I, like, I don't know if it's passion or if it's excitement or if it's just, like, the fundamental joy of learning something that I know I experience. I'm basically trying to convert that into my pillar rather than, like, my own performance. Um, but today I slipped, and this is why I tilted. So, when is the moment that sealed my fate? I can tell you what the moment that sealed my fate is. Into the Darkness game. Oh, hi, Darian. Good to see you. Let me show you how much better I've gotten. I'm really proud of this. That moment sealed my fate. As soon as my friend, my coach, who I respect very much, showed up, and I was excited to demonstrate that I really felt a lot of tangible improvements, now we're playing for performance. Immediate switch. I don't have anything to prove to Darian. He doesn't give a shit. Either way, I'll be right back. Because <laughs> uh, there is a specific meditation I have to do to deal with this situation, so I have to go do that. I'm obligated.
I did it! I did it! Successfully! Alright! That means we're good to keep going. So, yeah, big deal, big deal. Uh, we do not let that performance bit come in. We, yeah, we lost the Vagar game to a principle that we know, and we just, okay, so we're playing against the No Protection deck now, which is really, really nice. It is the probably Powder Pandemonium variant. Uh, Soul Harvest is really good here. Don't really have anything and don't really care. I mean, actually, a single handler plays the board very effectively against this, no? Oh, the only one. That's the only protection they have. It's plus one. It's really, really not intimidating to me. We end up with a hand that has two Hextech Handlers, a Vengeance, and a Hex Obliterator, which is not very good for the tempo of this game. If I had happened to find my single Forger tomorrow, that actually would have been ideal. Um, and what we okay. find is... Yep, Pool Shark. We know it's this variant. Okay. I've got nothing. You are not a threat. You do not represent threats. We have an early production, so we've got a lot of our late game cards. That's not what we need for stabilizing right now. I think what that means is we likely have to play out a... Give us some room. That's it? That's what you're threatening me with? Your hand must suck. I mean, that's probably their plunder procs, actually, like, developing a butcher or something, right? Here comes a... It ends up being elegant edge, which I am allowed to kill. That is a threat to me. Ah, uh, let me think for a second. Okay, I'm gonna play out the raw handler next we turn. We play in build rules, huh? Some? Yeah, actually, hang on. Yeah, because okay, because we now we are now in a board position that is not okay. Uh, we don't want to take five damage for free against a burn deck, so we must do something now. This is an option. It's actually probably much better than raw hextech handler, which is vulnerable to interaction, which is vulnerable to. A flare next turn. Uh, it does give them some time to develop. It'll leave me with a soul harvest next turn onto potentially Samira. I'm willing to take that. I think this is probably the best one. Uh, at least the best one in my hand. Because the alternative is, of course, Hextech Handler, Soul Harvest on the spot, and then what? Second. It would be se second Hextech Handler, but that would also be raw. Um, which doesn't play much for my value. So this is a defensive line here. Pirouettes for what reason? All right, they're trying to they're trying to stifle my attack, which is not something that I want to take anyway. Um, maybe I should have taken it. I mean, trading the edge into that. I think that's actually kind of okay, but it's still a weird use of pirouette from them. Uh, we have access to our soul harvest, which I am very willing to use at the drop of a hat. Let's see what they play out. Um, because if it's Samira, she's dead. I do not want her to continue getting value. If it is. If it's Father Fury, I don't want to let that keep going around. The Jagged Butcher's fine to beat on the board. Shot. It ends up being an open attack, in fact. Um, which is going to push something. So, what I'll... If they commit to this... What is it? It's a stylish shot, so they're getting it back. Yeah, they're just trying to push, like, what little bits of damage they can get here on open. Which is giving me a development. They end up with a barbed chain... They're just showing everything right now. Now, I don't actually have anything, so I'm going to let you die, because someone's going to die to you anyway. And, of course, I'm going to save myself one damage. And the board state is really, really, really not bad right now. Uh, there's no Mist Call or Heimerdinger. I can't draw both. We are going to play the Hextech Handler, which should perform very well into their board. Um, and to the aggro here, yeah... Uh, we end up finding a Jagged Taskmaster. There's no sense in using Soul Harvest on it at this point. The impact has already been felt. We are a little bit worried about a Powder Pandemonium coming out on next turn. Mist Call is here. Could be useful. Um, I'm going to open with this Hextech Handler. We are going to have a Vengeance next turn no matter what. Oh, is that for me? Actually, if one of these dies to an all-out or something. That's best-case scenario. That's that's a really good outcome if one of these dies. Yeah, 
setting up for Powder Pandemonium. We end up with Father Fury here. Um, let me take my attack right now. Something I don't want to expose this to death in case there's a combat trick. That's the only reason I'm not swinging with my man. Um, okay. I don't know for sure if that represented enough of a threat to justify that play. At worst, it would have gotten an all-out. I'm ready to trade around a little bit here. Like, them replenishing their hand is so absurd. No need to make a name for myself. Just okay, so here is Samira. I would be within my right to shoot her. Um, because she's probably just gonna kill this. But the only tool I have for that is. It's a really low tempo play, and my board is honestly okay. Let's try to ruinate off Reggie, actually. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. The beats will wait. No challenger flare, not declared yet. Pretty high, actually, Steven. Reggie does not have that deep a pull. Or a pool, rather. So you're pulling the 5 2. I've got it in my mind, yep. Boy, help. I hate traffic. Do we get an all out? I'm not comfortable using my Mist's Call here anymore. Too many things are dying. Curses. Ah. I think we end up banking. Waiting for future development, yeah? I'll have 10 next turn? Yeah, 10. Huh. <laughs> Is this your best? All others, so not judgment. Trying to get an extra flare out of me. Okay. I'll resolve it. Style never fades. Don't ask for permission or forgiveness. That's just a monkey business. I want a higher value production surge if I played my game out this way.
I understand this looks like a weird play. I maybe should have left it alone. I should have left it alone. My board state was fine. I broke my principle. Oh, but they are not. How much do you want to bet it's a powder pandemonium right now? That is a bad attack. That implies their hand is awful if they're considering that. Yeah, okay. So, uh, it'd be cool card in dragon decks would open them up to more regions. Well, which which region would that be in? Right. Like shot. Oh, like Shadow Isles, right? That sounds kind of like a Shadow Isles mid-range spell. Darian, I did get up to like 60 something LP earlier today. We are slowly making progress. Right. We are hitting new peaks all the time. I need to get rid of this, like, rancid orange. Lurk again. Okay. I don't really see where it would belong in Vandal, if that spell. Um, okay, Mist Call is pretty efficient at just bringing us back. But, like, you know, I want a Hex Obliterator for the Rek'Sai turn. I want... I mean, you're you're pretty good long-term, but, like, I need better cards early, you know? This feels greedy. This feels greedy to keep when it's actually likely I roll into something that kills Rek'Sai by the time she's ready to come out. Um, I can prep myself for a ruination, though, with Financier. Heimerdinger is really hard to play in this matchup. We end up with... Okay, well, we end up with a Vengeance anyway. We end up with a Mist Call anyway. We cannot deny that. Fortunately, it's Lurk on Evens. We do like Lurk on Evens. Okay, we are no longer capable ahead, of preventing the prepare. lurk attack. So, we will instead play for value. Quite good. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Board state's okay. Let's pass it. Okay. Is that so? You're just giving that to me. Okay, we have to watch out for Pike. However, hey, big man, you ready well, my hand beats Pike right now. <laughs> All day. Like of death from below is high. They do not have death from below. They would have played it on the spot. That blood bait is awful. Uh, they're trying to use it next turn. Right. Okay. So they have not lurked Pike. They have not lurked Rek'Sai. They've lurked neither. Uh, not a very high impact man. So let's bring this to Jace right now. They don't really want to block with anything. Taskmaster mists, which is awkward. I'll wait until I'm certain the death from below isn't coming. Watch your toes.
Lurk plus three, Rek'Sai's on six. She's not present in the game yet. It might be a while until she shows up. This progresses, Jace. Little help! Boy, help! Oh, fuck me, man! What a devastating action! I did not play around. They're playing around my missed call. Am I allowed to take that 50-50, guys? I'm gonna take the 50-50. Tech engaged. Don't touch it. I try. Swarms always hungry. Watch out. Let's see if we can get out a bad blood in the water. We can't. Pike is too much of a threat to answer here. They don't have protection in this deck. Bone Skewer's been set, rotated out a long, long, long time ago. Not rotated as in rotation, but like people removed it from the deck. Right, to my knowledge. Absolutely devastating turn here. I mean, okay, Rek'Sai is still capable of coming out. What are we at? We're at plus five. That puts Rek'Sai at... I mean, we haven't seen her yet. We're still not certain she exists. My duck love, we're in a very difficult line right here. The opponent is threatening Rek'Sai. But I can't survive this particular turn without it, so... Okay, let's think about this. You become an overwhelm. Tomorrow has never looked so good. Here we go. I'm just a little bit forked here, so what I've seen implies no Rexi. No, they don't have her. They're just trying to refill their hand now. I don't want to take seven. We will, though. We're gonna have to. Oh shit, are we getting... It's not blood in the water, it can't be. No, it's not blood in the water. Alright, it is... Very advantageous for me to use assembly line here. That soul harvest is actually useless. Replicating the power spike. Let's get to work. Yeah, the men make me very happy on this board state. That's the load. The Dune Breaker obviously goes in one of the men. Yep. No doubt about that. I'm pushing nine. Okay. 
If we manage to pull a second shock class, we will win the game. But that fucking guy's got overwhelm. It's okay, we can vengeance that if we need be. I hope they're not forking me on Rek'Sai, like... Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we have Mystic Shot now. Woo! Difficult condition to be in. We cannot let her flip. We cannot let her flip. Alright guys, the only line that beats us from here, if I've done my math properly, because this is 7 damage. The only line that beats us from here is if this card is death from below, but it's not. Or if that card is blood in the water. Could you imagine? A success. Uh, Lurk is really high stress to play against. Oh, we've run out of music, apparently. I didn't even know that was possible. Alright, we're done with lepers. Let's just randomly play from jams. The the big playlist. Whatever comes from here comes from here, right? What am I putting on? What am I putting on? It's so hard to listen to Muse nowadays. Rek'Sai top deck would have won. Oh, that's actually true. There are a couple of lines then. Ruthless Predator would smack me. Okay, there's a couple of lines that would have won. I, I guess there's a couple that would not have been very good. Let's start here. Bit of a tone switch here, shall we? Well, if we had seen the Rek'Sai, then we would have known to respond with Jace, right? We wouldn't have fallen for that one. It would have sucked, but... I mean, we would have, would have then just opened facts. So. We're playing against Samira Fizz again. Nice. No, go away. Yes, I'll keep you. Go away. Actually, that's a consistent play, but I need more consistent early removal, right? Like, just, yeah, yeah, this works, this works. We want this Forge Chief going. Let's get to work. Forge Chief on one feels really good. I mean, they're not going to be able to remove it, so. Gear up. Let's go, people. All right, we have a Mystic Shot for Samira, which is even better than Soul Harvest. They would have to be pretty silly to play her out here, though. I'll take it. Now, because we're sitting on this Mystic Shot, I feel comfortable just going on the offensive with uh, Assembly Line. They haven't plundered anything by turn three. Like, opponent's hand looks pretty bad. Or pretty late. I don't know which one. This is probably Elegant Edge or Jagged Butcher or something like that. What is this? Barb Chain? It's Barb's Chain. Yeah. Oh, their hand sucks. It ends up being a pirouette damaging you and stunning you. Okay, you were trying to stifle my attack. That is okay. It means the pirouette can't be used on your attack. I'll take my three damage. I'll take my three damage and average outcome. So you've got a lot, right? 
two fleeting here. I discovered this song from an Afro Moo stream. <laughs> Board state is very good for me, right? We're just anticipating. I mean, worst case is like Father Fury or something. Okay, that guy's not dying ever. That guy is simply not perishing. Um, I have pretty guaranteed value by playing Reggie. Uh, true shot should be very it's effective under this deck. Day for yeah, don't worry about being tired, by the way, Steven. Take the shot or lose the chance. There she is. You are not allowed to consistently get value here. Not in this game. I mean, I'm about to take three damage anyway, but... Too slow. <laughs> ah, alright. I should have been using that on defensive turn. This was in my playlist. <laughs> I see. All right. All right. All right. All right. I respect it. I coming in. Boy, help. I hate traffic. That's high value. And we still managed to stifle Samira a little bit on the board. Right? Now. Am I allowed to develop Heimerdinger on 5? That is a little bit aggressive. Uh, do I have the right to be aggressive here? Father Fury, Elegant Edge. I mean, they're just going to play a shit ton of spells very abruptly now. I think I do not have the right to play Heimer. So I'm going to play a very potent board unit here. We're going to choose this one. This one is usually the Metalocula. I don't actually know. You know what's funny? I haven't actually watched the show. I know this from Guitar Hero. <laughs> it's a, it's probably a show I would enjoy. But I just don't watch much TV. It looks funny. Like, all the clips that I've seen look hysterical. Uh, that Samira is very liable to flip. So, I think I think I want to swing with my guys if they give me an opportunity. Yeah, that Samira is surely That's flipping. They don't want to give me any of their units here. Their units are too important. Jace is one, right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful and brutal. Second all Just out. I like it. Actually, is that Samira's all out? It might be. No, it's just second all out. On, hardcore, like, in lot. hand. There's your spirit. So, are you trading away your Fizz? Or, no, they're just trying to level Samira. You can't rally with her this turn. I'm allowed to hexbliterate a unit and then play the board. You'll be elusive. I'm just concerned about the blowout potential. I mean, they just spent another all out, so odds are this one's going to work. Doesn't really change much of anything, does it? Ah, the pandemonium turn. That would make sense, wouldn't it? How many? Six. So I want to... Okay. So two of them dissipates. That's a lot of fucking damage. I want to allow them to declare first, yeah? We just have to endure this turn with one spell and one thing on the board. I mean, and it's also just a lot. So. One 
jump ahead of you. That's not good. You're gonna need a bigger boat. That's not fucking good. Second Heimerdinger. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you need Fizz to win the game, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No fear. <laughs> or pandemonium. Didn't have a great anti-aggro setup. I had one chance to kill Samira and it didn't work. This is not Helia, this is Castigate. So it's, it's a control mirror, so I wanna go slow. Uh, in a control mirror, assembly line is amazing. Sorry, not assembly line, missed call. You know, for a control player, I feel like I should be better at playing control mirrors, but alas, here we are. I mean, this would be good if it were Helia, but it's it's not. I don't have a good six cost play on three. Let's play for value here. Um, and odds are, I mean, shock assembly line maybe threatens their removal. Like, yeah, 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 because, yeah. no, because we want to, yeah, we <laughs> want to problem. play for board. We want to play for board. She kicks, huh? Like, we can exhaust their removal by having board advantage. At which point, my removal can come out against their big units, and my big units are protected. I need my combo to go off. They could also just forget to play the game. I think they were just deciding, yeah. We end up with a second one of these. If I had a two cost, it'd be comfortable to play here. I mean, like, my my perfect outcome is me playing nothing, right? Those are threats to me. Okay, they're just playing. Hmm. Mm. 
The only problem is if they choose not to use removal and they instead play value here. Because, like, this is an effective block that they've got. If I'm forgotten, yeah, alright. Oh. Let's, let's clear out some of these. You! Yes, you do! Watch out! Punch it out! That's two slay triggers for you. What's up, Prisma? That favors me, right? Yeah, that favors me. That equalizes mana. That favors me. Nice. Well, enjoy the ride. We're having a good time here. I don't want to let them value... Wasn't it not even a pun? It they just called it "Better Call of Rats." You act first. Board state is good. I'm not pressured. I mean, I'm at nine cards. You're at eight cards. So technically, I'm slightly more pressured, but I have value cards in my hand. Where's my donger? I want the donger. I'm fishing for my donger. I will take my value play then. I have a feeling something funny is going to happen this game with Castigate. So that's my response to that. If I can hold on to this for much of the game until we have some dead floor beyonds. Do you guys remember the Seraphine game where we played this twice and end up having four catastrophes? Over the course of a game? Like, I've ruinated my own catastrophe, brought it back with the harrowing, it didn't win, pulled a second harrowing, and brought both of them back. That was a good line. I'm tapped under my Heimerdinger. Control mirrors be like... <laughs> Oh, uh, there's a genuine chance that my opponent's actually not here anymore. I won the control mirror! They got bored! Yes! Yes! That would tap me under Vengeance on Nasus. Let's get moving! They're still here. They're actually still here. No way. I don't know there. Where's my...
Bakai Sand Spinner, Undying, Merciless Thunder. Why are you not developing Undyings? What the hell? Wait, your deck is an Undying deck. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Okay, odds are right of negation. And the first champion goes down, baby. We're in this one for the long haul, everybody. Oh, you should fix that immediately. Alright, we're now in a much more comfortable position where I have all the mana in the world. I can just dump out an assembly line, and then I'm also allowed to play a Vengeance in response to it. So, um... Here, in fact, let me queue something up for you. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? I'll queue it up after this song once I find it. Where'd it go? Too many songs in this playlist. <laughs> I can't find anything. There we go. We'll cue that one. Oh, is this the Castigate turn? Hang on, I might have just played in the Castigate. Ooh, actually. Eradication is quite good here. Didn't even realize I was playing into that. Don't want to play my Jason to second Merciless is the issue. But the odds of that are very, 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 very low. Cannon tested and prime. Nothing beats field testing. We listened to two full Leprous albums and then still rolled into them, which is so funny. Oh my god, Donger. Oh my god, Donger. Okay, let me check. Yeah, yeah, I know the Donger line's so good. The Donger line's so broken on 12 mana, guys. Donger's here. Time to go. It's go mode. <laughs> sure beats the smell of burning it's go mode. Traps. They're going to attempt to remove him. Jace is the one you're trying to remove. Really? Oh wait, I fucked up. I was gonna get two floor beyonds. Oops! Oops! I was trying to not overload my hand, but I just like straight fucked up instead. I didn't play for my own like core combo.
like we're trying to win through Albus. Although Albus is very, very, Progress very vulnerable to no Castigate, one. so we can't just dump him out. I don't want to lose my resources for free, you know? I think it might be go mode, though. Still, I fucked up. It's, it's a sloppy fuck up, but... I think I've got the advantage at this point now, yeah. What's this? Hate spike? Okay. And we're still holding that harrowing just in case this goes like uber late, right? The soul wears away like grains of sand. Hey, they're threatening Heimerdinger's life. Yes, yes, again. Fall to pieces. I choose this one because this beats Nasus' spell shield if it goes too late, right? Now we've got a double floor on hand here. We may see a castigate. If we do see a castigate, we end up with a Jace Vengeance. Okay, that is acceptable to me. I accept your terms. You can't castigate this turn, though, that's for sure. Hello, days. It's good to see you. All right, Prisma, this one goes out to you. The situation's gotten desperate for my opponent. Invention to date. <laughs> I'll play it slower. We're just grossly advantaged, you know? Black sand, okay. Well, the best you can is not bad, right? Undying comes out now. I'm glad to hear we're hanging in there, guys. I don't want to plan to castigate for no reason and give up my card advantage. <sighs> I mean, this song just goes unbelievably hard. Days, did you get updated on the Dota event? Did you receive that ping? All right, perfect. My opponent is at a significant disadvantage from like SG server. You do whatever you think is necessary, right? They're forcing the undying to die. Okay. 
I think we can pressure them to spend all their removal on Albus and then fork them with the men. The Pharaoh's name will last the ages. I think we can do that. I think we have a fork here. There's no need to slow down anymore. I think we have lethal. And even if even if this particular line ends up failing, we then have the backup harrowing on the next turn. <laughs> that leaves you on seven, huh? So we can still lose the castigates. I want the cast to get out, though, is the thing. I want them to spend castigate. I want them to spend castigate. Wait, did I never... I never gave you this? What is wrong with me? Castigate. There it is. Yep, exactly what I was hoping for. Exactly what I was hoping for. Why was I hoping for it? Because we are gonna go funny mode, baby! The only thing that beats this is second castigate, but I think we're- yep, because we, we, we prepped all of these lines. We Oh god, it's fucking brutal. Even second castigate doesn't beat it because two of them are Jaces. That's a mystic shot. Yeah, that's a mystic shot. GG. Uh, okay, that is true. However, every deck that's running a Sandy Deny is, like, literally one of right now. You're right. I should have played around it more. I shouldn't have all in. Long road behind. Long road ahead. I'm trying to get the Sandy Deny. Yeah, it's unlikely they have it, right? I'll fire this at the Nexus now. Okay. Yes, that's it. That was fun! That was really fun! That was a good game of Legends of Runeterra! Um... Extremely slow control mirror in which I eventually found what I thought was a fork and accelerated. However, I would have lost my line to Sandy Deny, which is one of. Even so, I, I mean, I, I would have lost to Sandy Deny, and that would have sucked. Um, I am getting better at identifying when I can, like, speed up. Yep, let's keep going. How many today? Wow, wait, I've already played so many games today. What the fuck? We're grinding, guys. We're actually grinding. Not Turbo Thralls again. We opened the day against this. No. Okay, how do I actually beat it? Um, well, I've built open Telstones already, so that's a good step. Um, I am going to take the Forge. I'm actually taking the Forge. Um, Draclorn Inquisitor is 5-4? We 
Where's this? Four, five. Um, that doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Again, odds of sand to deny. There is a one of. We're gonna pass. No thralls yet. Huge. We are going to play out our forge. Which is going to enable us to play Heimerdinger on five, defended by a Mist Call. Which is really, really, really good. Does that change anything? No. <laughs> no shot. You just... Are you serious? That's not real, right? No, I can just I can just raw play my Heimerdinger. I don't have to care about anything. I'm so carefree! Woohoo! Oh my god, I get to swing with Heimerdinger! Uh oh, guys, look out. Targon's Falling Star is coming at us. Oh my god, my opponent is in such a bad spot. Wow. Um. Okay, they might be trying to hit me with an Ice Shard, admittedly, but it still progresses Heimer's level up, so. But, but that's why I'm gonna open with the Hextech Handler. So, the Floor Beyond has two health. What is going on here? Have they given up? Formula with Forge is really bad most of the time. That's why I didn't keep Forge in my opening mulligan, and I ended up pulling it later. Oh, wait, did I use it on the Forge turn, though? I think I did. I mean, it ended up being the best play in that sequence, but... No matter what... I have them. Together, we make it to Leah. Stone faster than the wind. No landmark. Just to Leah. There's so much to see. Ah, no vengeance. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. Oh, their position's so bad. I always forget there's a city beneath our feet. Well, this is funny. Wait, do you get summoned again? No. Progress! Uh oh. Fuck, guys, what am I gonna do? I think this is a difficult position for me to be in, guys. You guys want to make them immune to uh, second avalanche? I do. Progress waits for no one. Darian, would it have been worth going for the T hex rather than the floor be gone on Poggers Day? Huh. Well, it wouldn't have put me in this position, but this position is excessive and probably not necessary. Um, maybe you're right, actually. Maybe you're right. The TX might have been better there. 
it's not a line I've ever considered because you know Forge of Tomorrow only comes up in so many of my games. There's it's not here very often. No, no. I love it. I said, yeah, it would have been. All right, are you just gonna rope me or? We're avalanche proof, baby. <laughs> the double heim board, dude. I'm pushing 18. Stop roping me. I'm playing my cards. You can't stop me. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> we get to emote ropers. It's the only time it's morally acceptable. Round and round and round it goes. Calculated. We were already avalanche proof. I forgot. Wait, why were we already avalanche proof? Wait, why did we have. Oh, because I got two of them off. That's right. Um. Enemy bricked. Um, I may have been better off playing Progress Day with my Forge on, bo on board than a uh, Formula. Which I mulled away for anti synergy. Oh, Heimer himself, duh. I'm running out of steam, I think. Uh, this might have to be the last game. Yeah, this is the last game, guys. Not you! Not you! We want Harvest. We want a full mold for Harvest and just get rid of their value engines. We did not successfully do that. I kept that because it's a play I can make, but we're also not attacking on odds, so I should have gotten rid of that one too. Um, Reporting in. Armed and ready. Not the player, the deck. starts with mushrooms. I have no plays in hand. No, stop developing mushrooms. Keeping pace. I don't want to shoot Timo. It's really not that bad yet, right? It's not even necessary to shoot. I have a chase. We're gonna play Challenger Jace on four and use him to threaten Teemo. I think playing the board like that is more efficient. Oh, if Shit! Could talk. I'll have what he's Why did I? All right. Change my mind. It's not about Teemo anymore. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. <laughs> Will do, Axel. Wait, but this loses to Elixir of Iron now. Ah, 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 ah. Their full value is set up. I have to wonder. Elixir of Iron is plus two. So it's better for me to attack you. Better for me to full swing like that. I don't love. Oh, actually, because he's about to double? Yes. Also just straight up don't have a play to threaten them right now, which is not good. News from the Undercity shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. 
Let's investigate. Okay, I will give her a man. Come on then. Men, the bane of lesbians. I will be able to deter her for a short moment. The trap is set. <sighs> okay. And now with the position that we are in, they may only defend one and I flip Jace. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Because the board state is not okay, so I'm compelled to act. They choose to defend Caitlyn. Okay. Don't tell me there's a second one. No, that's a fast spell. Testing. Um, from this hand state, I think I want to trade champions. Status hide. An expert is at work. Wait, although I do have... Do I want to trade champions? Powering up. Yes, because I'm now playing for a Heimer win gone. It's double mystic. So Jace would have been dead anyway. Okay. I don't have a mystic of my own to retaliate with right now. Ah, you're a little late, but. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. All right, Caitlyn's a minor issue right now. So what we're going to do is... I have nine to work with. Unlikely they replay her. It's only flash bombs coming out now. Tell by. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plant him, kid. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. Let's not reveal I've got nothing, though. They'll never know what hit him. I hate traps so goddamn much, guys. These decks are so good in the other control, it just infuriates me. 46 puff caps, I'm on 7 health. Why did my last game- and, and now, like, it's even, like, giga elusive still. So, like... Okay, most efficient is vengeance on you. I just need one floor be gone to make it through. Signing off. Round and round and round it goes. Oh! Oh, we won! Oh, we won! We won! News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane. We won! Board, Sheriff. Should pay off nice. They're out of cards! I have exact! Find her. Calculated! That's a new LP peak right there. All right, all right, all right. All right, that's a good ending for the night, guys. I'm tired, I'm tired. I have been—I didn't get a very good night's sleep last night, and so this grinds today, whew, a little exhausting. 
Um, I'm gonna grind again tomorrow. I am very, very thankful that I'm able to play my favorite deck again. Um... Uh, I am thankful that I can play my favorite deck competently again. Just make sure I am correcting when I notice a principle slipping. Big takeaway. Don't forget to identify when the board is okay for holding on and when you want to go into go mode. Yeah! Alright, that was a satisfying victory. So the ultimate record at the end is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We are 10 and 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, ten and seven on the day. We played seventeen games. Oh my god, ten and seven though. Ten and seven with a successful D tilt sequence in the middle. As soon as I went on my streak of three losses, I stepped away, did my meditation, immediately went five and one in response. Nice. And so yeah. Slow, gradual progress, and more importantly, improvement mentally and in terms of gameplay. That is so lovely. Ah, oh. Prisma, if you're still in chat, I want to talk to you about the team stuff afterwards. Um, other than that, everybody else, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your support. It turns out, actually, I'll show you guys. It turns out this right here, uh, where is it? Right here. It turns out, as soon as this loads, we can actually determine the end of a season with the gauntlet schedule. Or at least that's what one of my friends told me, right? Which means I have until June 28th to make Masters, and we are D380 LP and getting better and better and better every single time. And because we're off-season in League, we're capable of investing this time into practicing, which is really nice. Wait. Oh yeah, 47 days and 36 hours. Wait, wait. 36 mi Wait. Wait, hang on. Wait, guys, what's this? Wait, seconds, minutes, hours, days. Okay, yeah. Whew! Days, okay. Okay. I didn't even notice this earlier and... Guys, love yourselves, respect each other. I will see you all next time. Take care. I don't know what deck we're going to be playing next time, but we have diversity, so I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.